Reinforce that, he's got to keep unlocking himself. When Woody had it, then came inside.
big, big, big inside. Keep it moving!
Drawn into that just head tennis when we do go, pop, yeah, we're in. Gaff, Gaff, get, get us calm, 
game today Bishop Stortford um, two all draw yep um, I think it was kind of like it felt like we really deserved the win at the end of that game how did you feel um, I think we did enough to maybe nick the win I yeah. wouldn't say deserve as a, as, a, as a situation I think our first half performance from two or three of players wasn't good enough mm. I felt that defensively our, our back five six unit were fantastic mm. and the bill was superb mm. uh, I think others I decided to watch him, unfortunately, so we needed a few harsh words at half-time. Mm. Uh, so that didn't deserve us to win the game today, um, mm. that first 45 minutes performance from you know, three or four not joining in. Mm. Uh, the 25 minutes in the second half, that was, was good. That was mm. us, that was us back to where we are. Um, positive, disciplined, doing things off the ball, taking, mm. putting the ball in the right area, runners going past, mm. creating opportunities. You need to be better though. You, mm. you know, we, we've, we've had, what, probably four or five opportunities at goal, mm. um, but we've wasted, I reckon, a dozen you know, mm. 12, 13 opportunities to cross, to, mm. to put the ball in dangerous area, the wrong choice selection, the quality. Mm. Uh, and unfortunately, when you are dominant like that in possession, which is fantastic from mm. us, I, I really, that's brilliant. If we don't put the ball in the right areas, you don't get the chance to win games. And mm. Um, mm. you've always going to get a chance at this level, any level, of getting caught and fair mm. play to them for 10 men to, to, to take in the point. So, yeah. long winded answer, I know. Did we deserve it? I think we probably could have nicked it, if mm. I'm being honest. Mm. Um, and 10 men, you should win. Mm. Um, but we didn't and that's uh, some naivety from us and uh, that's been there all year and that's got to change and it will change mm. next year because um, mm. some lads are going to have to realise that. Hmm. I mean in terms of the, the game today I think obviously there was a number of situations where we got ourselves in fantastic situations mm. to be able to score mm. and I think perhaps um, 
you've obviously recognised that 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 lack of sort of out and out striker with the mm. club, and, and mm. obviously Tom coming back into the club. Mm. Um, tell us a little bit about that. What what's happening with Tom and, and coming back to the club? Um, well, the first part is about Tom. Tom comes back in. He'll be available next Saturday, and he'll start next Saturday. Um, there's, no, there's no doubt about that. Like I said. Um, He'll be available for another couple of games as well. So he's not here, going to be here. You see him every week. Um, mm. He still lives obviously down in Newport and it's, it's, it's not possible. But he's not currently with Hunger for the moment in time. So he will play next Saturday because it's, it's near, near him, Dorchester, or nearer to him than it is for us. <laughs> uh, it's a weekend of the 14th, I think it's available, and we might get another one or two out of him. We'll see. But it'll depend right. on his situation. He's obviously he's, he's tied with work full time now and etc. Mm. Um, but while he was available, it's a bit of a no brainer. Mm. Um, and it, it's one of those ones as well. You know, I, I can't remember the stats from the top of head, but. N- Nabil has scored something like mm. seven, eight goals. I think six, seven, eight goals in 14, 15 games. So mm. his return is mm. good. Mm. He's done well. Mm. It's a case that we've just dried up. Uh, <laughs> the last two or three games, we've dried up producing and, and, quali- and, and actually kind of putting ourselves in that final third with, mm. with quality. The quality has been poor. Mm. Uh, today, we got there and mm. we did produce. But again, the, the, the final decision at times wasn't good enough. So mm. we can score goals here. You know, Dylan and Nabil score great goals. But... The problem is we're not consistent, mm. and uh, and that's why bringing Tom in helps massively because regardless of what he may not do, um, he puts the ball in the back of the net, and at this level, at any level, you need that, especially yeah. games like today when we've we've camped in their half for long periods of time. Mm. So. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, in terms of um, the situation with the club mm. prior to Tom coming back in, is that something that you noticed w- that there was a, there was a lack of of distinct strikers in the club? Is that something you've been looking for? Has it been a hole that you've been looking to fill, or are you, is it generally you're just looking to bring good players back to the club? Oh, not really. I think if you if you look at it we can't be short-sighted because you know um, when Tom left the club we had a good eight week period where we're, we're flying and everyone's mm. happy and we're scoring mm. goals winning mm. games and the only actually uh, addition was Lewis mm. um, so Nabil was still there scoring Dylan was scoring a little purple but mm. these things happen we've got to understand sometimes that um, the personnel of, of type has changed a little bit so Lewis offered us going in behind massively so he's not with us anymore unfortunately which is a, a massive shame mm. out of our control but it is what it is it's football um, but you, we've still got players like Dion, like Nabil, like Dylan, who, who, who score goals. Mm. We haven't got as many now, because obviously when Tom left and Lewis. And it is hard to try and find that type of player mm. more than anything. And you look for them, and it's okay. People say, oh, it's a lad at step five and step four and step six. And we're not mm. that ignorant or arrogant to, to knock that. But you mm. need, we need people to come in and score goals. You yeah, know, that's yeah. the situation we are. You know, that's the, we're not in pre-season. We need to yeah. do that. So we've got targets for next year. But you need to bring the right people, the right people to, to suit our style. So that's mm. why um, Jordan, who can play left back because of have heard he was obviously injured today, but can play higher. You can mm. see the boy's quick, he's pacey, he's direct. Mm. So he will play up top as well and play up high for us there. Right. Um, Tom can run in behind. So that was definitely what we had to do. Um, mm. But it's not as easy that you you know these players a cost money, b mm. they're at clubs, they've got situations and stuff yeah. like that. So you have to get the right type of people in. The one thing sure. I haven't done this year and want to try and do is just recycle players for the sake of it. Um, and unfortunately, we haven't got enough younger players also just yet um, who are ready to do this. You, you've mm. seen the standard today. You know, these are good players. So Dion, Dylan, Nabil, players, everyone's mm. fans have been going, oh, well done, well done, well done. The players we've got underneath, we they train with us. We, we look at them. They're brilliant. Mm. But they're not up to that standard just yet. So mm. if, if we're not scoring goals, we need better or, yeah. or we need similar at the very least. So, so finding them's hard, but we think we've done that. Mm. And um, we've got two goals today. So hopefully we can step forward and... Try and score a few more going forward mm. in the next few weeks. It's been a difficult time, isn't it? Because you've you've had sort of uh, three or four games now. Mm. I think where you've not had a full full bench of players available <laughs> to you. It's no. been difficult through yeah. a number of reasons. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've managed to sort of battle through. I know that we haven't picked up a number of results no. uh, over the last sort of two three games. Mm. But um, you know, what, from your perspective, though, is there anything that the club can do in terms of being able to turn that round and make make sure that doesn't happen again? It's not the club's fault. Um, the club have been really supportive. I mean, I'd be very very honest. I think like you know, we had a very purple patch when Tom was in other people here. We were slightly over the budget. It was what it was. We were on a good mm. run. We were trying to support that, and, and Lee supported it and the club supported it. It's fantastic. Mm. Um, you have to kind of claw that back sometimes when you realise your situation. Um, and it's just been bad luck because mm. out of the last, okay, take this game out of the equation, it's the last two games have been the worst. Mm. Um, prior to that, we've gone 2 1 against Slough. We're probably going to get promoted and might get out of this league. Mm-hmm. So 2 1 at their place, it's not bad. We've got 12 yeah. men and one man breaks down on the day. You can't mm. expect that. Prior to that, it's Hereford away. Mm. 1-0 you know we, people mm. are getting trounced by them we've gone there again with the smallest squad we mm. know that mm. um, the problems that have arisen is Harry O'Malley 
Um, the poor lad's gone in for an operation. We think it's been two weeks. He's, he's got an yeah. infection, and now he's out. For, you know, his health more important than football. So, yeah. at the time, you hang around for two, three weeks, hoping for to come back. Now he's, he's done, and you only find that out. Mm. Jack has a hamstring problem, which. Um, he, he goes to Slough with, we think it's fine, and he pulls up in the warm up. You're getting something yeah. you can't. So these little things happen, and, and again with Merthyr, mm. I've got Liam ringing up ill on the day, generally ill on the day, we think, and, and David Bridges, who um, has a personal situation the night before. So, mm. Mm. you know, you, you don't just pick people up and go at eight in the morning, go, can you come to Merthyr? Mm. People have got situations. Mm. So we've sure. had a lot of bad luck, and since we've mm. been injured, stuff like that. Um, and if you just bring players in mm. um, for a short two weeks' time, what players want to play for two, three weeks. Mm. They want to come in for a long time. Mm. Then you forget these boys five, six weeks ago were the ones who've done really well on mm. a good, good run. So mm. why do you sacrifice them? So mm. you have to play it carefully. The club have done nothing wrong. We've, um, I think apart from probably one game, no, the Slough run luck, we had two subs. Mm. You have mm. two subs. Mm. Um, one breaks down. So it looks bad on the day. Mm. Uh, Merthyr, we're, we're two on the day. Mm. One the night before, you can't just miraculously get people to come no, to Merthyr. No, so no. Some t- we've had a bit of bad luck in it's the last difficult. three, four weeks. So that's yeah, all it is. Yeah, the club can't yeah. do anything. Could we take as well kids? Um, people are saying about, we could do, but they've got to play football. So yeah. the reality is if we're taking them there, and I just spoke about it, even though they're good, yeah. young, honest players and we like them, they're going to find it hard. This isn't, you know, this is a good level of football. Mm. And we've taken the opportunity for them to play 70, 80, 90 minutes here for the reserves who need the help and support as well. That's thinking of the club. Mm. Then you've got to put all these things into perspective. You've got to think of the finance, what the reserves need. Because mm-hmm. I can't just take Mark off. Um, I would never take players off Mark when mm-hmm. he needs them, when they're in a, uh, a battle, more than a battle than us, you know. Mm-hmm. So all these things are coming to a bit. No, it, mm-hmm. the club have done nothing wrong. Mm-hmm. And I think when you look at it in the whole scheme of things, if it's been four, four or five weeks, but we've had a good two, three, four months. So you, Absolutely. you know, you've know, yeah. got to weigh it all up sometimes, I think. I think sometimes, in, in, in a way, from, I suppose, the fans' perspective, mm-hmm. that you know we have been on the back of what has been a very, very successful yeah. period of time. Yeah. And um, I think that even, as you say, when probably some of our toughest games that we've had recently, yeah. um, we have not been far short it's yeah. it's just been probably you know a couple of players difference in yeah. terms of being able to to win some of those games Merthyr and Basing Stoke I, I, I apologise they were awful they're abysmal I've told them that in more than some terms um, I take those two into that and just say they were horrendous mm. that's, that's in fact I don't think we had 17 players or 11 players mm. you know mm. we were just poor Mm. Um, there's no argument for that there's other reasons behind it at times but that is the fact of the matter mm. Mm. but prior to that you know like I said taking context we're, we're bottom third tight budget side mm. um, very similar to like the biggest ways of this world um, we've had a great run we've had um, we had prior to the two games um, with well, up to Merthyr and, and Bainstoke we've had Hereford we lost 1-0 away from home done well Slough 2-1 mm-hmm. uh, Taylor Powell scores that in the last minute we mm. equalise everyone's cheering for that one um, we beat uh, Chesham convincingly here in that yeah. little run we've beaten yeah. Tiverton here in this run so yeah, we're, some we're, really good games yeah it's been good and I don't get me wrong I understand it and we sometimes you know we are short-sighted in things and it's getting too highs with highs and too lows with lows but I would apologise massively and I would never never have an argument against the last two games prior to this they were awful mm, mm, absolutely mm. but prior to that um, I'd, I'd question how badly we've done mm. when you know we've taken good teams to the wire a little bit and mm. um, and uh, you know, but when you put it all together and then you have a few players out mm. it, it makes it look all oh dear what's going on the wheels have fallen off the wheels yeah. haven't fallen off no 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 we, we, we've still got things to play for so I mean in terms of um, where, where we are at the moment for this season obviously I say mm. it's probably been well, it's been one of our most successful seasons that we've had for a while mm. um, how, how do you how do you sort of approach the towards the end of the season now because obviously you know it's not a great deal in terms of that we can do obviously not mm. push forward in the table yeah. um, how do you motivate the players now and what, what what do you need to do to be able to sort of keep things moving forward? We try and keep doing the same things we, we did before. A lot of accountability has to go to the players now. What do they want? We've made it very clear. This isn't a massive statement we're making it, but we want to improve next year. Yeah. So whether we finish next, this year, we, we want to go better. So if we're looking at maybe finishing, I don't know, dare I say, 10th to 14th, is that mm. kind of little area we could finish in? Then we need to, we're not making big shouts about this, and this is what's happening, but mm. we would want to, me, Matty and Bridger, to go, well, can we go another four places higher next year? And so... Do players want to be part of that? Mm. Um, mm. That's a question you ask them. Yeah. We've got loads to do. You know, yeah. we've got some. You look at them and think, "Oh, do you?" Yeah. Um, but we've got a cup final as well. So yeah. you know, yeah. I might only pick fourteen players with cup final because I, I want to win it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. if I've got players who are choosing to only be part of the last three or four games, then yeah. I won't have them on the, the sixteen-man squad. Yeah. Um, things like that. So. It's a bit of tough love a little bit. Yeah. It's a bit about kind of, um, you know, they've been looked after well all year and coached well all year. This is a bit about them now kind of showing their, 
their desire and want to improve and be better and win games and, and, yeah. and play. But uh, we're going to keep doing the same things, which mm. is trying to kind of motivate them to encourage them to win games and, and, and finish the highest yeah. uh, the club has for a few years and be part of that and try and bring a cup back as well, which is I think Fantastic. is massively important. So if we can knock around the 60 points mark, um, which is achievable, um, it'll be hard work, but it's achievable. And win a cup, then this, this club's gone forward and they're part of that. And that's massive credit to them. Yeah. They need to show that in the next seven, eight games. Otherwise, the, the, opposite, the opposite effect could happen and, and stumble only five or six, seven points ahead of last year's total yeah. and, and, get, and, and lose a cup, which yeah. Is, yeah. is progress, but it's not where it, it, it potentially could be from where yeah. we started. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. All right, great stuff. Thanks very much for your time today, Matt. Anytime. Great stuff. All right, All right. All right. thank man. you. Thanks a lot. Thanks Cheers, very man. much. Thanks thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.